So welcome to another installment of the uh, Business Spotlight, part of an initiative by the Spanish Peaks Business Alliance, uh, partnering with the World Journal, uh, where we look at various businesses around Werfno County, uh, highlight the services and goods that they offer, as well as the financial struggles they've gone through and had to overcome because of COVID-19 uh, business shutdowns. So to start off with, for people who don't know, could you uh, introduce yourself, business, sort of go over how things were before COVID? My name is Joan Eagle. Our company is Chapita Accessories, and uh, we're located here in Walsenburg. Um, this is where we do our um, production, our design, our production, our shipping. Um, we ship to various shops and galleries around the U.S. and Canada, sometimes abroad. And as far as the um, situation now um, and where it was before, last year was a banner year for us. We experienced a, that almost 30% growth and we were fired up for this year. Looking forward to um, continue to at least stable the same amount of business or perhaps it could even keep growing it. And then, um, we went to New York in February for our trade show, which is um, what we do. We go and we show our collection and we write orders for uh, different shops and galleries. We had a nice show, a good show. We came home with all the orders. We started production and then it hit in March. And somewhere around the third week of March, we started getting cancellations, postponements, for the most part, just delays. Um, but very few, has, very little shipped. It's all still delayed. People, um, the shops are closed. There, some places are now opening slowly, but very uncertain about how business is going to be, um, whether they should bring in more merchandise or try to sell what they have. Um, it's really, really difficult. It's sort of like a screeching halt after 35 years here. And, um, so um, we're just pacing it. We've offered discounts because we had so much produced already, ready to ship. Um, trying to think of you know new ways to how we can go forward. How have you managed to deal with this, this big financial blow that's been dealt to you? Uh, have you have you looked and sort of obtained any financial resources or kind of uh, revamped your your marketing, yeah, your advertising? Right, right. Well, um, first of all, we did apply for the different um, resources from SBA when we did receive um, a PPP loan. Um, and we also received a loan and grant, um, the EIDL. Um, not as much as we had hoped for. Um, but anyway, that's helped. Um, Thankfully, we did get some shipping done before everything closed down. Um, and so we had some money in the bank. Um, and basically how we're handling it is we're just not spending any money. I mean, you just can't. You have to make sure you have what you need for your basics, and, you know, your, just your basic everyday needs, utilities, this and that, you know, what's basic. And going forward, we have been working on the website. We have been receiving a few more retail um, orders from the website. And these are, that would be to individuals. Um, that's not off our wholesale site. That would be off the retail site. Um, and that's helpful. But we're just pacing it very slowly. And um, has the, has with the business, no shows. Sorry? Has, has the business climate improved a little? Uh, since a lot of the restrictions were lifted, have there been more retail that you've seen? Uh, suppliers opened up a little more? A tiny bit, a tiny bit, Only a, a, a tiny bit. And you can start to get excited, but one of the hardest things about this is the uncertainty, is you really don't know what's going to happen in a month from now. You know, we we did get some some new orders in, we did ship some, but... You just don't know what's going to happen. I still have, you know, 20 orders, a good 20 orders that should have been shipped in April and May, sitting here uh, waiting for the proprietors to feel comfortable to take new merchandise in, even offering them a discount. 
so yeah, it's very sketchy. I think I think the attitude uh, out there in retail uh, is to be careful and to wait and see how it's going. If they mm -hmm. have some good sales, then they'll order a, a fair amount. But they're just taking it day by day the way I, the way I see it. Right. And so we're falling behind that. So uh, just one last thing to uh, give a reminder sort of, of what products people can buy if they're, if they're looking to, to purchase things retail-wise and uh, how they can, where they can find you, how they could contact you. Well, locally, our shop here in Walsenburg is open. Um, and we have been here 35 years, and our main business is our wholesale business. But uh, somewhere five to 10 years ago, we started slowly making some retail space in the, the building here on, on 7th Street, um, 110 7th, right across from Carl's in the church. And um, over the years, that, that it was growing, but of course, with this year, um, it's really quiet too. But we are open. We have had some people coming in, and we um, we have our jewelry here. Our prices in the shop are wholesale, even for the retail customer, because this is our community. And also, we have a bead store with um, just incredible beads and parts and stones and findings. Um, that we've collected over the years, some very unique things. So we are open here for local business and people passing through that from Denver to Santa Fe, or from, you know, the right. crisscross traffic that comes through this, um, our town, and um, that we get customers stopping by regularly. Not this, not this year so much, but in the past we've had that too at this location. Well, it was great this is our talking brick and to you. <laughs> it was great talking to you, Joan. Uh, thank you for your time. I'm here, thank you. Dominic. Have a good day. Thank you, Dominic. All right, and you too.